Okay, thank you very much. Look, we'll get started straight away with the captain coach and the forwards coach from Australia. Um, I think I might just open it straight up to questions. Um, please put your hand up high and we'll get a microphone to you. Thank you very much. Right, right down the front here. Be good. Julian. Question for Michael Chaker, Julian Gar AFP. Um, how happy are you to survive that, having been 12 points down early in the second half? Um, obviously happy to win, yeah, you know, there's no doubt about that. Um, mate, that's, that's the way games go. We know it's, gonna, it's the World Cup, you know, everyone's come. We, we played Fiji in the first game of 2015 and it was, maybe the score wasn't the same, but the sort of momentum of that game was, was pretty similar too. We, we just needed to gather ourselves and get back to basics. And also, I think we were prepared for a, a, a strong contest all the way through and try, knowing that we'd try and, you know, get ourselves ahead in the last 20, you know, 20-odd 20 minutes. That's, that was the sort of idea because we know the, the Fijians and we know how good they are. We know them well. Can we go over this side for Wayne? Come down here. Michael, was, was that in many ways almost the perfect start for you uh, in terms of how you want to build from here? Uh, well, mate, I think one thing we've been talking about inside of the team is that we're not looking for perfection. It never happens in this game, so you can't say you have... We got tested, definitely. Uh, it's been a while since some of our guys have played footy, so for five or six weeks for some of them. Uh, but uh, I'll be, be honest, I think they got us a bit on the hop early on, like they came out with a lot of aggression... And, uh, and we needed to get, get into our rhythm and flow. And once we got back to those basics, we were able to get back in the contest. But yes, good, good start. Um, I'm pretty sure we were able to get ourselves a bonus point as well. So that's, that's positive in the context of the next game. Um, just go from there. Michael, it, it appeared simple after 60 minutes tightening up. Uh, Hooker goes over twice in the corner. Was there a change of tactics or did you just intend to play a bit looser in the first half and tighten up late on? Uh, mate, no one intends to go behind <laughs> and play loose, no way, you know. Like, it's just the nature of the game. And, mate, it's not... You, you, you must r remember that there's two teams on the field. The opposition came at us. They came at us on the ground as well. And uh, I was... I, I thought they were able to get away with a lot there. And it didn't give us any type of continuity. So you've got to always um, respect the opponent, what they're bringing at all times, and then you've got, to, you've got to try and impose yourself on them. But early on, they imposed themselves on us, and we had to react and get back into the game. So, yeah, no, there was no plan to play looser and then, and then tighten up. I just think uh, that's the way the game sort of went. Question for Michael Hooper. Um, the second half obviously started poorly. You obviously wanted to get away from um, what had been going on the first half. But um, the team's composure seemed to not dip at that point. I think you even told one of the rival players you'd kick the goal and come back and score a try. What, what was going on on the field as far as um, communication? Uh, some really good communication. Um, I thought uh, coaching staff made some good changes there, um, brought on a bit of experience, and I, I thought they... Um, helped with settling us down. They saw, they were able to see the things from the side and one of the benefits from starting on the pine and um, the, guys, the guys came on and delivered some really good messages. Um, and we went back to, back to some of our basics there and, and it paid off quite well. I think we have, Julian, you want to cross over there and then to Georgina, yeah? Um, uh, question for, um, sorry, question for Michael Chigger. Um, you, you're just talking about, you know, the positive aspects of, of what that game gave you, uh, the, the areas you were tested in. Uh, as a coach, though, what, what were the areas you weren't happy about? Mm. <clears throat> I think... Uh, I thought we, we did it a bit of the line-out. I think, not that, like, we should have just got there and gone and played. I think we got into a... Early on, we got into a bit of a slow tempo and we, let, we almost waited for the opposition to come and and join us there, instead of saying, no, we're ready to go, go, you know, and get ready and play. And um, <clears throat> that sort of sorted itself out as, as the game went on. Uh, and uh, I think, you yeah, know, nothing, 
Uh, nothing that's, that's not in our regular thing of looking to improve, you know, uh, looking to improve and it, like we want to build in every game. I just think we had moments where we could have, uh, and probably a few too many uh, penalties, you know, early on, first half, cost us a bit of field position. Uh, some of them um, were difficult, but at the end of the day, uh, chap's got the whistle, so got to try and cut back on that. Yeah, just Georgina and then at the front. So straight along. That's it. Thank you. Michael Checker, you mentioned Fiji getting away with a lot on the ground. Um, there's a lot of conjecture about the legality of Hodge's tackle on Yato and some talk that Fiji may refer it. What's your thoughts on it? Well, the stuff on the ground, like, I'm not, I'm not quite sure what's, what's going on, but the team of three were talking about David Pocock from before the ball even, from the first minute of the game. I'm not sure why. I heard his name mentioned between them on the commentary uh, at least a half a dozen times in their own chat when he hadn't even been involved in the ruck. And I'm not sure what the focus is upon him. He's only played one game since he's been out all year. I'm not sure what he's done. But uh, there was a se severe focus on him. At the, that his name has been called all the time. Um, so I was a little bit surprised by that. The one uh, you're talking about, I'll, I'll be honest, I really didn't see it. I didn't even see it in the game. I could sort of tackle, obviously, but I didn't... Um, the one thing I know is that um, the Fijian captain went up and spoke to uh, the referee and asked him to refer it, which he did, and it went to the TMO, and uh, he told them that the tackle was fine. And, you know, you've got to... You've got to go with what they say. I've only seen it afterwards. I didn't actually see it when it happened. Well, I saw the, con the contest, the collision. It was a massive one, try saver in that way. But uh, it, it, uh, that's what I do know about the incident. OK. Uh, Michael Chicker. Oh, where am I? Sorry, yeah. Sorry. Um, Michael Hooper talked a bit about some of the good substitutions you guys made later in the game. Will, Guinea and Matsumura came on and made a pretty big difference. Um, before the tournament started, you mentioned that there was still a lot of jostling for positions in the top team. Uh, have they sort of pushed themselves into the front there, or is, do you like them coming off the bench and adding their game? Uh, no, I think I like them interchanging this time around, you know. Um, they're so, it's so even around those contests, and they can all do different jobs, sometimes starting, sometimes finishing. Um, and when you've got those types of contests, that's... That's what we want to, you know. I think you saw a guy who's, let's say, excuse me, he did tell me about that before we got up here. Um, if you look at a guy like Dane Haler Petty, you know, he's been out of the team for a while, in and out. He got a game against Samoa. He came on for maybe only 10 or 15 minutes, but he wanted to make some, he made some very good touches, a good high ball take, a beautiful pass to set up a try. Because he knows when I get my chance there, I've got to do my job best I can so I can get, I can get back in the team. And yet, then at the same time in that competition, we're all working together for the guys to get picked. So I don't, don't know if it's ever going to end with the selection team, of course. I don't know if it's ever going to end up. This is the, the number one side. It may. I don't know. But uh, I, I, I'd like everyone to be ready to do either job right now. Um, question to Michael Hooper. Uh, how was the impression of the Sapporo and Sapporo Stadium? Do you want to come back again? Uh, when we turned up here yesterday, no one in the crowd we were amazed by um, the stadium. We couldn't wait to play. And it didn't disappoint today. Um, we were very lucky to have a lot of green and gold and uh, you know, Australian fans in the crowd. Um, they were heard on the field, like really heard. Um, throughout the whole course of the game, even when we were down. Um, you know, we're very lucky to have great supporters over here and so many of them at that. So, um, yeah, we've had a great time here in Sapporo and, um, you know, I'd like to echo that our fans have been amazing. Just hold to, just hold to. Okay, go ahead. Um, <clears throat> Michael Hooper, um, just Chick's comments there about Pocock being sort of identified by the match officials. Did you, did you see that going on as well? Were you sort of abused by Pocock being singled out like that? I, I didn't hear any of it. I mean, I don't have a microphone in the ear. I wish I did. <laughs> um, hear what was going on there. Um, no, it's something we will review and, you know, something we'll, we'll definitely talk about. Um, it's really all, yeah. 
we go down the back, and then we go here, and then down the front, and that might do us, I think. No? I Just a question for Michael Hooper. You talked about going back to basics um, when those replacements came on. Was that something you talked about as a group of players during halftime? Uh, yeah, it certainly came up um, as part of our discussion there. Um, but then, you know, we went out there and let another try in straight away. Um, our, probably from the first half, something that was working well was our set piece. Um, you know, in tournaments like this, set piece is important. And I thought that, um, you know, going to that part of the game when we did uh, worked quite well for us, um, resulting in a ye yellow card for Fiji. And, you know, that was able to then get our backs in the game nicely. Um, so, yeah, stuff like that. And then just maintaining the ball. Did we have a Japanese question down the back? Yeah? Put your hand up high. えっと、ちかヘッドコーチにお伺いしたいんですけれども、今日後半のかなりハイ段階でハーフバックス2人とも変えましたけれども、このねらいというのはテンポを上げるというところにあったのか、あるいは別のところにあったのか教えていただけます